flying close to objects with a drone certainly looks absolutely awesome, giving a really dramatic twist to your footage, but also adding that all important element of danger that really adds to the viewing pleasure of the person viewing your footage. But this of course comes at a risk. Or does it? You see, flying extremely close to objects is risky business, as the risk of crashing your drone whilst attempting this is really, really high, which may in turn make some people decide it's just not worth the risk. I'm going to show you a little trick you can use to get awesome close up flyby footage, but with a lot less risk of crashing, so let's get into it. Now this process does require a few steps but don't worry as I will guide you through it all to make it as easy as possible. Firstly I've been out getting some footage for this video and once again I must confess that this DJI Mini 3 Pro is an absolute pleasure to fly, however this trick I'm going to show you can be done with any drone, in fact it can actually be done with any camera at all. So to make this work we need to make sure we are filming in 4K, this will become completely relevant later on in the video and as you can see that's exactly what we're doing. So now we've grabbed this footage we need to move on to step two and for this we are going to need to import the footage into a video editor. Now I use a piece of software called Filmora which is really easy to use for beginners but also includes lots of advanced features for those that are a bit more competent but please don't switch off because anything I'm going to show in the video will not be beyond your capabilities I can completely assure you and I'm going to guide you through every step at all times. So now I've been out flying and captured all the video footage uh, that I've required all I need to do is drag these little clips down into my timeline on my video editor. Now one thing to mention is when it comes to HD video quality, the simple fact is the higher the resolution, the more detail you're going to get from your video. I'm sure most of you know this already, however what a lot of people don't realise is most people are only really going to see the benefit of 4K on large screen TVs of over 46 inch or above. Below that or certainly on tablets and mobile phones, the pixels are that compressed, you'll be hard pressed to see a difference between 4K and 1080p. Now I do appreciate that will be video files watching this that are going to say they've got the all singing, all dancing monitors and they can see a difference. But really, even up until recently, Blu-ray DVDs were only in 1080p and even Sky TV only broadcast in 1080p also. Now here for the crucial bit, those good at numbers will know that 4K resolution is pretty much double that of 1080p. Not pretty much, exactly in fact. And this is where I reveal the main trick. You see, what we're going to do is set our video editor timeline to 1080p and the little trick is because 4k is double the resolution of 1080p we can actually crop or zoom in whichever you prefer in our footage a full 100% further without losing any quality in our 1080p timeline. I've captured this footage of me flying towards this piece of concrete and as the drone flies upwards you can see it gives us pretty cool low shot but not quite close enough so I'm going to show you how we can make it so much more dramatic. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase the size to 200% if you remember earlier I said we could do that because 4k which we're working with is twice the 1080p then what we can do is reposition our frame so it looks like it's closer to the object and if we play that back we go from being this close to the block which looks awesome to this close to the block which looks so much better better and more dramatic from the same shot we took earlier and this is going to work on a number of different clips that I'm going to show you right now. As we are flying really really low it looks cool, it looks dramatic but not quite the one we want. Again go back to our editor, quite simply crop in 200%, reposition it so it's pointed a little bit more downwards towards the bottom, play that again and again you can see that it just looks so much cooler and so much more dramatic. For clip number three again we are heading towards this pole and cable, yes it is an electrical cable um, so I'm going to be very very careful but in reality as I'm watching the drone there is absolutely tons of room but once again we can make that even better using the same process as before and then what we're going to do is we're going to reposition it slightly so the pole is a little bit more center hit that play and again you can see just how much more cool that looks and I'm even going to show a little before and after on the screen right now for you to enjoy clip on the left is before clip on the right is after absolutely awesome and how cool is that 
So you see, whilst we are told that seeing is believing, I've shown you how you can use a little editing trick to transform the perspective of your footage. And even the most basic video editors will have this feature, including mobile editors. So really, it's something pretty much everybody can achieve with just a few clicks. So please do go out and give this a go and let me know what you think to this little tip. Of course, skillful FPV pilots won't need to do any of this, but for those that are quite not at that level yet, this will work absolutely fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips like this, and until next time, see you again soon.